He doesn't know how big he is. He has no concept. He's just big and kind of dumb. You're beautiful too. Okay, well deep. <laughs> you regret that? His owner surrendered him to the sanctuary and I was, of course, absolutely delighted to take him in. I think it's a little overwhelming <laughs> when he first got out of the car and there, there was no fences, there was no leashes. He could just run. The day I brought him back, Hodor went right up to my mini cows and kind of stuck his big old nose through the fence. And the bull walked right up to him and starts licking his face. And Hodor starts licking him back. And the two of them just stood there licking each other. Ever since then, every animal he's met, he's been wonderful with everybody. The piglets, though, that was surprising. I was made aware of a woman that was trying to get rid of a bunch of piglets that were only two or three weeks old. The mother had abandoned them, wasn't nursing them anymore, and so decided to, yeah, step in and pick up these piglets. <laughs> Great Danes are prone to bloat when they eat, and so after a meal, he has to have just his little quiet time in his crate. And one day uh, I was in there doing laundry. I turned around and this little trail of piglets, they could squeeze between the bars of his crate. And I mean, he looked kind of as surprised as I was. These little tiny things, no hesitation, uh, didn't just climb in the crate with him, but then climbed on top of him. So he just kind of looked at me. What do I do here, mom? Is this okay? But he didn't, he didn't get up until they all situated on him. And then he wanted to smell him and everything. It's become such a routine. I mean, we just know it's gonna happen every time. I can barely open the door now before they're all racing in there to see if he's in his crate or not. Once they come in, he'll help like give him a lift <laughs> to help him climb on top of him. He's big and he's soft and he's warm and so I love to cuddle with him. Hodor is absolutely a gentle giant. Actually, because of him and how phenomenal he's been, a few months ago, I took in another Great Dane. Owner had passed away, and so Duncan is his little brother now. And he follows in Hodor's footsteps, and absolutely his shadow learns everything from him. That was the best decision I made to get him a friend. That was his size. 